Well, it is a gloriously hot afternoon here in San Marcos, Texas, but Chelsea and I have gotten the 172 ready to go. We're gonna fly up to Lake Washita, but today it's gonna be a bit of a different time going to Lake Washita. I think last time I posted a video going to Lake Washita, it was just me and a couple of cases of beer. Today we're also gonna go meet Aaron and Emily. Exactly a year later, we're actually gonna have three souls on board for this flight, uh, and one of them weighs two and a half pounds. I'm Josh, a pilot and flight instructor who loves the sky, sharing it with those around me and using it to see the world from a new perspective. Flying can seem super complex, but I make it my mission to promote safe practices while enjoying the beauty this world has to offer. Subscribe to Climb Into the Cockpit on future adventures. This is Aviation 101. We're actually gonna have three souls on board for this flight. Uh, and one of them weighs two and a half pounds and she's coming around the corner right now. So Chelsea and I randomly decided to go on a walk the other night and I, I live like 10 minutes to the north of the airport right here, kind of off a county road, cornfields kind of surround the neighborhood and stuff. And we were walking along this county road and we both heard a meow, um, real quiet, but it was high pitched and we both looked at the same time and we saw this little orange kitten coming out of the cornfield. Was covered in dirt and mud, had fleas on it. Um, we're kind of thinking that somebody dumped it um, or maybe dumped a litter of cats that they did not want. So they would let them fend for themselves in the wild. But this one ended up surviving, ended up finding us by chance and walked right up to us. Chelsea picked it right up and immediately this little kitten started purring and it has been the sweetest little thing. So we have decided to keep it. It's the sweetest little cat, made itself right at home with us. So we've been at my house for a couple days with it. And then now we're heading up to Lake Washita. We're gonna leave our plans uninterrupted. And then after Lake Washita, we're going up to Kentucky. So this little guy is gonna travel by land, air and sea today. Well, not sea, but on a boat on the lake. So we're very excited. So it should be a pretty easy flight today. A little bit of a breeze out of the Southwest, as you can see by my hair. And we should be able to go VFR, probably up to 7,500. We'll use the power flow tune exhaust to run it back to Lena Peak. We'll use Sirius XM to monitor the convective activity since we will be flying through an area of convective outlook. Four flight will help us with all of that. I'm gonna be paying some close attention to the noise of uh, inside the airplane. I've got the decibel readout on my Apple watch and I'm gonna be kind of monitoring, you know, what, uh, you know, how many decibels it is in the airplane at cruise and stuff. And we did some research and cats aren't tremendously sensitive to sounds, um, but especially this being a kitten, she's gonna be startled pretty easily. She was a little freaked out in the car ride over here, but then as we cruised down the highway for a little bit, she calmed down and was almost looked like she was falling asleep. Um, so we've got a cloth cat carrier in the back that has some mesh sides on it so she can see and get fresh air. Um, and see out if she wants to. And then we kind of surrounded it with some of our bags and towels to kind of deaden the noise as much as possible inside this cat carrier. And I have no doubt she's gonna be wigging out inside that thing. Cats probably aren't super used to flying on airplanes, but Pilots and Paws transports cats and kittens and little airplanes just like this all the time. So I have no tremendous reason to believe that it's gonna be super unsafe. But here in just a minute, we're gonna pack up the airplane, get everything ready to go. The fuel truck is showing up now to top us off and we'll be heading to Lake Washita. Here we're going KHYI to seven Mike three. We have information Alpha. I want to start information Alpha, one niner, four six Zulu, wind at two zero zero one two, gust one niner. The weather is better than 5,005. Temperature three three, dew point two two. At temperature two niner, niner, niner. Visual Triple runway nine. one seven approaching use, parachute jumping in progress, Ventures Air Park, located approximately 8.5 miles southeast of San Marcos Airport. Advise, ONESH contact, information, Alpha. All right, information Alpha, we got the ATIS. Altimeters are set in cross-check, transponder squawking altitude VFR. ADSB is connected, we're connected to the GDL-52. Radios test, taxi light and nav lights on. We'll leave the strobes off for now. Brakes test, we just did, and we're gonna check the attitude indicators on the taxi. Okay, we're gonna point our nose into the wind here and just go ahead and get our run up out of the way so once we begin taxiing, we don't have to stop again. We can just roll out onto the runway once we're clear for takeoff. 
Run up, brakes set. Fuel selector on both. Trim is set for takeoff, flight controls. Bring correct. Everything feels nice. Turn on my portrait lock on the iPad there. Uh, instruments calibrated and cross-checked. We're going to set the heading bug to runway heading 170. Altimeters look like they agree. Airspeed indicators look like they agree. Turn coordinators agree. And HSI aligns with the compass. Mixture set for best power. We'll go in just a little bit. Not full rich. The primer is in and locked. Throttle 1700. We'll get our windows shut so we don't terrorize the cat. Rise in the carb temp. All four EGTs started coming down. Flight drop in RPM and it recovers. Two clicks to the left, that's the right mag. Left mag out, smooth drop, rise in four. Two clicks back to both. And one click, left mag, right mag out, smooth drop. All four EGTs are rising. One click back to both, we are on both. Pressure and temp on the oil look great. We're full of fuel, the totalizer agrees. I reset it, fuel flow 5.0, carb temp looks great. Volts 13.1, neutral amps. Come back to a hard idle. We're good, windows open, so we don't cook. She okay? Yeah. San Marcos ground, Skyhawk 809991. Skyhawk 809991, San Marcos ground. 809991, Cessna 172 at the T-Hangers, information alpha, VFR to the northeast. Cessna 9901, runway 17, taxi via alpha, Bravo, cross runway 8, Charlie Juliet, Ho Chi, runway 13. Alpha Bravo, cross runway 8, Charlie, Juliet, hold short of runway 13 to runway 17809901. Skyhawk 9901, runway 17, clear for takeoff on course. Clear for takeoff on course, runway 17809901, will be a left turn out. Ready? Windows. Mixture. Full rich, strobes on. She's not going to crawl out of there, is she? We're good. All right, we're clear for takeoff. One seven. Traffic's on the upwind. Takeoff power set better than twenty three hundred. Airspeed's alive. Forty knots. We're heavy. We're just going to let her accelerate. There's fifty five. Ooh, we're airborne at eight hundred feet. Wow, she's doing perfect. Runway 17, clear for takeoff. On we're going to look left and we're going to start a gentle left hand turn, as gentle as I can. It's bumpy. Is she okay? Yeah. Starting to look a little concerned. Cessna 9901, frequency change approved. Good day. Alright, we're actually going to go to 12722. Austin approach Skyhawk, November 809901 off San Marcos VFR request. What's rattling? This little panel. 809901, Cessna 172, we're about five miles to the northeast of San Marcos, VFR 27, Mike 3, 7500. Already got a bug. NSSA 09901, sorry, what was the destination one more time? Yes, sir, the destination was 7, Mike 3. Cessna 9901, squawk 2536. 2536 on the squawk, 809901. Climb checklist, speed, 85, we're doing better than VY, power set full, mixture set, lean for climb, EGT, CHT is looking great. So the 9901 radar contact, Austin altimeter, 29 or 9 or 7. 9 or 7, 9 or 9 or 1, we're passing 3,600 now. Gotcha. And taxi landing light, we're going to leave it on. Instruments calibrated and cross check. Altimeters, we just calibrated them and 7,500 on the bug. Light plan open, we're talking. Climb checklist complete. Houston Center, Skyhawk 809091, 7600 VFR. Skyhawk 809091, Houston Approach, good afternoon, I'll flutter 299. Triple Niner, good afternoon, 9901. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna start getting these bumps if we stay at this altitude. I think we should go to 95. Houston 809091, we're gonna climb VFR to 9500. Over 809091, Roger. Let's not make Kitty's first ride a rodeo. No. Are we keeping her? Yes. Are you, do you not want to? 
I do, I'm just so like... Because if you don't want to keep her, then I know somebody who will take her. Me. Oh. And when she gets of age, she'll probably ask where mom went. Yeah, right. I would totally whip you in a custody battle. Waco approach Skyhawk 8 0 9 or 9 or 1 uh, 9,500 VFR. 8 0 9 9 1 Waco approach Waco 2 9 9 3. 2 9 9 3 8 0 9 9 1. That's a bit of a pressure change. Skyhawk 9 9 1 area of light to moderate station starting at your 1 until 2 o'clock and about 1 5 miles. Approximately three miles in diameter. Eight zero nine we're painting that on next rad, and we have a visual on it. We'll keep an eye on it. Thanks. Afternoon, Center Max twenty three thirty. I'm about to eat this microphone sponge. I'm so hungry. Might get some fiber out of it. There's some cat food. Like the cat food might actually be okay. <laughs> Will you taste the piece first? Not while we're flying. <laughs> Why? I don't know if it's going to give me the <laughs> or what. <laughs> you can eat one little one. I'm sure it's not bad. You're not going to go... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Memphis 8 0 no, 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 no. What is the Hawk Bravo Moa ahead active? Negative, sir. Okay, thanks. We're going to go ahead and uh, cancel flight following if you could. Uh, we'll go ahead and start making calls on seat down. All right, so November 8 0 no, 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 one radio service. Turn rate clock 1200. Frequency change approved. Squawk VFR to advisory, 9 another one thanks for the help. Prop. 22.9, push. I did not realize how mountainous it was right here. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought it would show me terrain. Maybe we're not low enough for it yet. Okay, so we canceled flight following, we're squawking VFR, we're, we are on the correct CTAF, 22.9. And we're talking. Bears traffic, Skyhawk 8 0 9 9 3, 3 miles to the southwest of the field. We're going to cross over midfield, enter the right downwind, 2 6, full stop, Bears. I see an 8 on this side. Yeah, it means the other side says 2 6, so this is most likely the correct airport. Runway looks in okay shape on this side. How about yours? It looks good. Mixture's coming in. Bears traffic, Skyhawk 8 0 9 9 1, turning on the right. Downwind runway 26 full stop bears. Hi, baby. Is she poking her head out? Yeah, she's not liking that. I maybe advise zipping it up. She just laid back down. Landing light is on, autopilot not equipped. Seatbelt, shoulder harnesses, mixture is set for best power. Car Pete, let's test it. Good, we don't need it, it's warm outside. And fuel selector is on both, flaps as required. Bears traffic, Skyhawk 8 0 9 9 1, turning right base 2 6, full stop, Bears. Looking good. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000. Flaps 10. 70 knots. I can feel the wind kind of buffing, buffeting around. You didn't catch a glimpse of the wind sock down there, did you? No. Let's keep our eyes peeled for it when we turn final. Okay, I'm also looking for like flags and stuff. Okay. Down in the trees, it's gonna be kind of hard to get the full picture. Yeah. Bears traffic, Skyhawk 8091 final, 26, full stop, Bears. Yeah, I don't see one. Okay. I don't think the trees are really moving that much. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, flap set 20, power to idle. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, flap set 30. A little bit of right rudder. Nice and smooth for her. Bears traffic, Skyhawk 8091 is down and clear of runway 26. Bears. Mags work. Oh, here they come. Lights, avionics.
did perfect the whole flight. She seemed a little bit concerned at first, but then she just curled up in a ball and we tried to make this a lot more um, soundproof, not proof, but uh, we just tried to deaden the sound with some towels and she was all snuggled in, but the whole flight she just sat back there perfectly snuggled in. She never whined, never cried, never got like anxious or excited. So I think we have a, a travel kitty. All right, we landed here at Bears. Is that is that how you say it? I call it Beers, but I don't know what Beers. it's technically and called. Lake, Al okay. Lake, Lake Wichita. <laughs> Aaron Reeves, Emily Reeves, and Chelsea <laughs> Finley. And then the kitten is in there, I think, under the couch. <laughs> um, but it was a nice flight up here, very uneventful. Uh, Chelsea got hungry. I tried to offer her some cat food. That's all we had. Uh, we're going to spend tomorrow, all of tomorrow, on the boat with these wonderful people. Their YouTube channel is Flying Sparks Garage. Y'all do automotive stuff and a little bit of flying. A little bit of flying. More recently, a lot of boat stuff, but yeah. Oh yeah, a lot, of, stuff. a lot of boat stuff. That's why we're here, right? And we literally just had an entire week yeah. with these lovely people at Oshkosh. We, are, we rented a house. My dad came, Chelsea's dad came. Uh, we had a bunch of friends down from down in Austin and stuff come. And we just had an awesome time. And Aaron and Emily stayed in the house yeah. as well. So. We're on our way to Kentucky. This is a perfect place to stop. Y'all are having y'all's family camping trip. So we're here back in Mount Ida. We're gonna have a good evening. So we're gonna clock out, put the cameras down and just have a good time. That's what we're here for, right? That's Absolutely. right. All right, let's pack up the truck. We're gonna head over to Lake Washita. We all leisurely got out of bed to an awesome breeze through the boat's cabin. And after coffee and breakfast, it was time to hop on the ski boat. First up is Aaron on the wakeboard. After Aaron showed us just how good at this he is, Chelsea's next for her first time skiing on water. Yes! Oh, you got it! Yeah. For her first time getting up on water, Chelsea totally killed it on the skis, so naturally, I'm next for comedic relief. I know I can't be good at it if I don't at least try. Both Emily and Michael, on the other hand, are awesome. very good at water skiing at all. I think I might stick to flying airplanes and filmmaking. We uh, were out on the Malibu for a little bit. I'm actually really tired already. Already, I could use a nap. Um, but from what we hear, lunch is ready from fa uh, Emily's family over there on shore. So we're gonna hop in this little kayak and paddle over. But we had them drop us off at the big boat that's anchored just off the cove. So we could check on the kitten. Fun day so far, fun day on the water. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of eating and relaxing, maybe a nap. Maybe a little afternoon nap wouldn't be too bad. Good day so far. We all have our favorite places, our favorite activities, our favorite ways to pass the time, but there's a glue that holds all of that together under a positive light in our memories. 
That's the people. I always associate places with the people I end up seeing and the times we've had there. And ever since Aaron and Emily invited me up a year ago, Lake Washita has quickly become a place that just always means I'm going to have a good time with some really good people. Aaron, Emily, Chelsea, and I are already talking about what our next adventure up to Lake Washita is going to look like. And we obviously cannot wait until we all plan our next trip up here to meet up and just have an amazing time here. From Arkansas, Chelsea and I packed up the airplane again to complete our trip to Kentucky where her family is. And after our full summer of non-stop road tripping with the Flight Outfitters camper, I know she was super happy to get back to what matters most, family. The footage from that camper trip for Flight Outfitters will be coming out later on, and tons of other content we filmed this year is already in the queue. So be sure and subscribe and turn on those notifications if you haven't so you don't miss that upcoming content. If you want to support the channel, you can grab yourself some merch at the e-store or gain access to the raw edits of these flights on this channel, all available at aviation101.com. Links are down below. Keep an eye out for more epic content coming soon, and until next time, you know the drill. Stay happy, healthy, current, and proficient. We'll see you in the next one. Fly safe.